Please do not wake me up I am sleeping. What? Listen to me dear brothers and sisters. What do you mean by I shouldn't wake you up, while your house is burning? Oh this is serious. Right before your eyes, a British woman got married to a dog, and nothing moved you. Gay marriage is legalized in almost every country in the world, and you say I shouldn't wake you up? Young ladies are giving birth at the age of 13 and 14 without knowing the owners, and you said do not wake me up. A man impregnates his daughter, and you see nothing wrong with that. Human beings prefer to have sex with animals and artificial things. And you are still asleep? Men are giving birth through their manhood, women are breastfeeding animals, medical doctors are sleeping with sick patients, a woman got married to her own son, male sex education is introduced into our institutions. Internet fraud and scam are becoming rampant among the youths. Still you said, allow me to sleep. Come to the church and you will weep. Pastors are sleeping with church members and are promising them heaven whilst they are living like hell. Politicians are given higher positions in the church. People are touching prophets' manhood to get healing. Some are eating green grass just for a miracle to take place in their lives. Many also see their general overseers as their god. So seed and the Lord will bless you is how they rob church members today. They teach sinners faith and prayer without salvation and sanctity. Anointing services without redemption and cleansing from sin. Midnight warfares with hatred and unforgiveness in the heart. Church is more of party fun than service. Choir leading worship while sleeping with one another. Revival without holiness. Right from the clubhouse after having fun they come to church to serve in different units. Right after choir practice they go to sleep with their sin partners. Will you still continue to sleep? Unholy dating is going on among the youths. Youth coordinators have turned the youths into sex experiment. Even married couples are committing abortion and have come to shout hallelujah. Church worker living in deep iniquity and come to service singing, you raise me up so El can stand on mountain. Will you not wake up? Women now sew their dress and remove the back, and if you tell them, the reply is, El am aware. They clothe themselves in rags and are happy in it, no wonder the Bible says their righteousness is as filthy rags. Are you still sleeping? You have told a lie and were corrected, and you say don't judge me. You are committing fornication and you were confronted, and you say don't judge me. The judgment of God is coming and you say do not wake me up. When are you going to wake up from your slumber? When are you going to repent? When are you going to stop lying and gossiping? When are you going to accept correction? When are you going to stop watching pornography? When are you going to stop womanizing? The Lord is coming. How prepared are you? We need to examine ourselves for we are in the last days. Where will you spend eternity? In heaven with God or in hell with the devil? Heaven is real and hell is real. There is no in between. Wake somebody up by sharing this this message. Use this opportunity to evangelize ourselves first. Church it's time to wake up and repent. Thanks for watching.